um, uh, it's my pleasure to uh, give a kick off to the e-learning uh, series uh, of um, Mary. Um, we are planning uh, to have in the context of the courses, but also freestanding value addition to those um, uh, courses. Uh, so uh, the very first one um, doing with faculty, uh, Ms. Swati Chawla, who is um, a certified um, digital marketing by Google. Uh, she has some little PhD thesis. She's assistant prof in uh, Mary and also is coordinator for BCom honors. Um, Swati, um, <coughs> How would we describe, uh, how, how do we navigate the future? Marketing is changing. Uh, it's changing at a fast rate in, in developed countries or developed meaning where the technology is uh, high level. And uh, how do we explore the emerging issues in digital marketing? So, um, how are companies using the AI? Uh, oh, well, data? Thank you so much for such a wonderful and warm welcome. Uh, as we start with digital marketing, digital marketing has completely changed the nuances of marketing. We have moved from conventional traditional marketing to an online based marketing, wherein we are developing e-learning modules, we are learning through ed tech firms, there are a number of e-commerce companies. And when these companies have grown, along with that, we are talking about new technologies like AI, blockchain, voice recognition. These are some major tools which have been introduced and which have actually changed how marketing is done. I will take an example of Amazon. Amazon is one company which is using AI based recognition on how they are analyzing customer data. They are analyzing customer behavior and how they are analyzing. For example, if I purchase on any platform, what they do, they track my behavior, they track what kind of activity I do, what kind of keywords I type and therefore on the basis of the same they prepare a data analytics and on the basis of those analytics they promote their products on the e-commerce platform. But that brings us to the question also that um, insights do come but um, to some extent it is violating the privacy of the definitely, customer definitely. and how is it managed therefore? So now uh, the companies have realized that everything is available online. My customer is available online. So I don't have to annoy my customer. My customer's privacy is very important. So what they have moved to, they have moved to a concept of personalization, permission-based personalization. If I'm opening a mobile app, mobile app first notifies me that, do you want me to allow allow me to uh, search me or to analyze me or do you want me to access your do documents, your contacts, your location. So they are asking for our permissions and they are giving back uh, to us okay, controls sorry, on those good, applications. But, um, briefly, can you mention <clears throat> other areas of application besides Amazon which is detailing? Okay. Definitely. If I talk about several mobile apps like social media. Now, when it comes to social media platforms, through social media, we are sharing our pictures, we are sharing our videos. So, we have to give access to everything on our mobile, our location, our email. So, what companies today nowadays are doing, specifically social media platforms, they are asking for permissions. Permissions, for example, you want to allow me to uh, track you while using the app or always. So, if I go to while using the app, so I am not giving my complete access to the social media website. I am giving a limited control to a social media Fair website. enough. Uh, my question was related to applications in other areas like PayPal, etc. Okay. I so just mention it first. Yes, and then definitely. PayPal and has been very, uh, I mean, I would rather say it has been very proactive in understanding the online transactions. When these e-commerce companies or other brands, they are coming online, they are doing business online, the first problem, the major problem which any user faces is the fraudulent transaction. Now, we are using number of concepts like CAPTCHA, we are using OTPs, those are encrypted in nature. So, encryption, the data privacy and the cap use of CAPTCHA and to identify whether a human has interfered with the business or not. So, they have introduced OTPs for the same. So, PayPal, they recognize on the basis of the customer behavior, how much time they take to respond to a transaction, Any they other analyze. Examples? Any other examples? So, number of companies like, for example, uh, if I talk about Scopus, if I talk about, these are some very important research platforms. If I talk about Skywell, if I talk about Schemago, what they have done is they have given us options. For example, we have to select 
pictures, we have to select infographics. Again, a human brain takes some time to process. So again, what I am trying to do, I am giving an instruction that I am a human. How I am human? By selecting the options and taking the time to process the query. So query based system has okay, been yeah. introduced. Uh, this is what happens. Mm -hmm. You are technically very good, right? So you are all the time going in that direction. I want to know from, let's say, ordinary marketing and consumer point of view. But in any case, let's uh, go to the second question. How companies are navigating the fine line between personalization and uh, uh, respecting uh, privacy? We have, touched on we that have touched that subject, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Now, then, therefore, let's uh, move next. If we broadly say that uh, digital marketing use in a country like USA, hmm. China, hmm. Now let's see Singapore mm -hmm. and India. Mm -hmm. Broadly, what would you say in terms of the percentage of consumers utilizing it? Point number one. And point number two is that if we separate it out for retailing of ordinary goods and then fashion goods and mm -hmm. um, uh, high, uh, high end goods, mm -hmm. uh, uh, low end goods, mm -hmm. um, while they might do vegetables and fruits in USA, yes. will they be successful in India? India. Doing mm -hmm. Vegetables and fruits. Mm -hmm. um, so, two questions therefore. A, what is the extent of this? And secondly, for what kind of goods it changes? Okay. So, uh, I would like to highlight that if I talk about countries like China, Singapore, USA, India. India is one country which has the average popul average age of the youth as 28. And we have largest number of internet users. So, we have accepted the technology. Technology is not a problem for us. Technology, Second, of, technology of internet. Internet. Yes, we yes, have but, accepted the technology of internet. Yes, definitely. I'm coming on to the same also. A recent survey said that the people in India, they are little reluctant in purchasing because still in India, we have a perception of touching and feeling the product, yeah. visiting the store and then buying the product. Yeah. Now, so brands like, I'll take an example of a jewelry store, which is Tanish's online brand, Carrot Lane. So what Carrot Lane has done, they are running on a hybrid model. Initially, they started their online store. Now they have moved to a, a brick and mortar store also. So if I want to purchase anything online, if I'm not comfortable buying jewelry, because Indians would not prefer buying jewelry online. It, it is a, a natural purchase behavior. They want so to enjoy the purchase. They want to enjoy <laughs> the purchase. They want to visit the store. They want to see the uh, options available for them. And a yeah. lot of money is involved when, it, when you're purchasing a jewelry. Yeah. So Carrot Lane has given you okay. an option. Give more examples. Now, go there first broadly mm -hmm. just say that what is the extent of uh, penetration in india penetration is huge number of ed tech firms are rising firstly e-commerce brands have grown talking about businesses they have converted online there are number of businesses which were actually offline they have moved online and online businesses like you know carrot lane they have also split into brick and mortar decathlon is one example they encourage you to purchase let's in quickly the store. go to percentage in u.s Singapore, China, India. In Singapore, if I say, Singapore is one country which is on GCI index. It ranks on number two. Yeah. And it has been constantly growing from last uh, five years. It has constantly ranked on number two. And it is number one on innovation. And they have done a lot of work on art artificial intelligence. And customer there is more inclined to purchase online. They would not prefer buying offline. Yeah, that's understandable. Mm -hmm. Uh, large population, small, small, pop small again, physical small, space. small physical uh, space and population in comparison to India is also small. Yeah. And then in India, we have a problem that people in remote areas, they do not have access to internet. So what government is now in the recent speech also, uh, our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, he highlighted that now internet is available at cheaper prices and is accessible to all. So they are trying to make With everything. a lot of other slogans say, Kehne ki baat aur, <laughs> khane ki <laughs> But yes, government is doing a lot of things through Digital India campaign and they are trying to set up infrastructures. Yeah, but, and, but, but it's not, uh, you know, we know our friends travel. Mm -hmm. Yesterday somebody called from Lucknow airport saying, 10% of the bandwidth is available, etc. Yeah. etc. Cetera, et cetera. Right. I mean, it is not smooth that way. It's not, um, uh, but things will improve. So that is number of internet connections. It's not the same thing if they're becoming customers Definitely. because of, A, they will see what is the value addition, what is the extra cost, our warehousing costs are higher as a percentage, and uh, then there will be type of goods which they will buy, the type of goods they will not buy. Mm -hmm. uh, Vegetable shops will not go away. Go away. Uh, Definitely, course, I completely fruit, agree. Fruit too. shops will not go away. That is why we have switched no, to hybrid model. Very interesting. There is a couple outlets just mm -hmm. next to our mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. 
that fellow in the morning, six o'clock, sent to my wife all the items, all the prices, and you can order online, online. and it will be delivered physically. Mm-hmm. So you would have gone at eight o'clock to shop or something like that. By seven thirty, otherwise things things are at home. At home. And 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 then you can pay online. Yes, definitely. So, and let's take an example of so, Blinkit. So I, I'm I'm really pleasantly surprised mm. that this kind of <clears throat> adaptation has taken place at smaller levels also. Now, uh, I think um, uh, we have just made an opener. Um, we should go for the second version, a uh, second um, uh, part of it, uh, which uh, we should discuss more in terms of. Hands on about digital marketing. Definitely. Now, your your understanding, your knowledge. You are also the um, former DM of uh, uh, Google, so we should have our students uh, take advantage of that. Definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for having me.